to boldly go where no one has gone before. Hello fellow gamers, I am your host Britton Justice and welcome to my gaming channel Justice Gaming. I am once again in Star Trek Elite Force 2. I think this may finally be the last video because we are now at the Master Control Facility and I feel this is it. And we will have to face a big boss and it's going to be terrible. Um, so if that is the case and this is the last video of this series, stay tuned toward the end. I will have a full review of the game. I will make chapters so you can uh, watch the gameplay or switch between and watch the review. And yeah, let's see where this goes. I'm curious. Load her up. So far, I have spent over 13 hours of gameplay in the game. Just for your information. Um, fight to Romulan controlled ruins entrance. Oh, we got a sniper. Well, that didn't work. Here we go, that worked. I was trying to figure out what the little red circle was in my HUD, and that was just the glare from the laser. <laughs> I thought it was like a orb headed toward me. Come on, sidekick, you can do better than that. Ow, I stood right in front of that one. They are throwing new things at me. Oh, crap. What? Hello, hello, hello. Get him. Get him, get him, get him. My health is down to 48. Okay, they are not playing with us today. They are throwing everything they have at us. <clears throat> I have this new Gatlin gun thing, but... Okay, it's a laser. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, ee, I see. I see what they're doing to me. That's terrible. I'm at 25 health. I wish he would do a little more. Now there's a shot. There we go. That's who was bothering me. Those guys up there. Alright, so that's what we have to look out for in this world. That's pretty rough. Not gonna lie, they are throwing everything they can at us, and the Romulans have some kind of new weapons. Just seeing what weapons I have. What did they give me? I don't have the uh, shotgun looking thing, whatever it was called. They took that out. Okay. Really? Really? This looks important. I 
I found a new weapon. Me to shoot you. Stop shooting me. Uh, because I accidentally shot him, he shot me. Uh, killed me. That was stupid. So don't shoot him. I get it, but you come on, buddy. Us. We are the future of the Alpha Quadrant. They. He doesn't let off. Where's my sniper at? All right, we know they're gonna bombard us down here. There's another one. Have to be careful not to shoot him. I saw a green thing. Where was it? It was back over here. I have to be careful not to shoot him. Or else. Alright. Sniper. This guy. Or these guys. Or oh, are they not there now? Okay, they're not there now. Fine, great, whatever. Alright, so... Whatever this interesting... Whatever this interesting weapon is, I have to be careful. The creature's gonna pop out, but I gotta be careful not to kill my friend here. Alright, that's not working. He ducked right at the last minute. Got him. Okay. So, we gotta worry about whatever this thing is. That was a lot better this time. And then we have some kind of new weapon, which... Wow, okay, that's a big old blast that I wasted. But, wow, that's powerful. Okay, what do we have now? I see those guys up there getting out of the way. Say he's not doing much. Watch out. You watch out. Some more. Wow, 
Wow. This is pretty difficult, not gonna lie. They are throwing everything at us really hard. This new weapon that these Romulans have that they're tossing at me is pretty darn crazy. I'm looking for health, honestly, seeing if there's any health terminals nearby. But I don't see any. See a health terminal right here. Oh, we got an invisible person. Snipers, take cover. No, really, he just today will be a good day to die. He just stood there and took it. That's not right. Now I really am by myself. Maybe tomorrow, Corben. Today, you're going back to the Enterprise. Enterprise, Corben has been hit. Get him out of here. I refuse! Monroe! He really wasn't helping me much anyway. It's always a solo mission. Where she is. I see her up there. Is that the only one, or are there more? That's what I don't know. Yeah! Where is that coming from? That's a big old blast. I think there's another sniper somewhere. Ah, right there. Well, I didn't do anything. Wasn't the right thing I wanted. Gotta watch out for those towers. They come out of nowhere. Like that. Oh, there's a starship down there. Like that, I should say. There's one right there. Crap. They come, they're like really can't see them. That's right, run away. So I see what the little flare does now. It's supposed to alert you that there's a sniper person nearby. Trying to get the right weapon I need. I think I got her. Pretty sure I did. Remember to look up. Look up a lot. Okay. 
Got another sniper somewhere. Problem is I can't see from where. Up there, okay. Got it. Okay, I'm completely missing. I need to come out further. Wow, look at that, okay. About to fall to my doom, that's not good. What is it called? A Romulan X Rad? Kind of cool. This looks like a big arena. Got these guys again. like it. That was rough. I'm out of everything. <laughs> I like ran out. I ran out of everything. Trying to fight that thing. I don't know what it was. I don't like it. I don't want it again. That was rather difficult. Please don't do that again. Give me everything. Need so much health. All of it. Thank you. So much power is needed. Also, this looks dark. I think we're in pitch black. They are giving us like every, every hazard, every hazard the game has, they're throwing it at us right now.
You can't stop us all! Ooh, I don't like those things. Okay, those things move, so yeah, let's not do that. We'll leave your precious Ooh. Federation in. dark in here. I feel like something big is coming. Too risky to go get those. I don't need them right now. And another tower I didn't see. Is she not dead? Dying? Jeez. Stop him! Good gravy. Oh no, is this the mother thing? This is the intelligent exomorph, isn't it? I didn't think we were going to have to fight it now. I thought it would be at the end after we take out the master control facility. I don't have any of those... I don't have any of those big weapons that they gave me. I have no energy on those weapons. I need help, I need help, I need help, I need help. Gosh, I had to go through all of my weapons on that one. The Daredex. I had to go through like every single weapon. I was running out of ammo. <laughs> I was about to be down to the phaser. Several the Daredexes. Not Romulan ship uncloaking. Hailed them. Federation vessel, you have violated the treaty by entering the neutral zone. 
We entered under emergency conditions. We intend to destroy an Idril doomsday weapon called the Master Control Facility. Explain yourself. We are transmitting data about the weapon, and about an attempted coup within the Romulan government called the Empty Crown. Exomorphs. Very interesting. But I have no fear of doomsday weapons in the right hands. Only if your loyalty to war is greater than your loyalty to your people. This doomsday weapon destroyed the last empire that tried to wield it. Just because the Idril couldn't control it doesn't mean we can't. Could it be that the great Captain Picard is finally afraid? Afraid? Yes, I'm afraid. I fear for the Romulan people if you allow the empty crown to control the empire. I see. Commander Soldok reports that this master control facility has no military purpose. I suggest you test his veracity and his loyalty. Investigate the facility. Very well. I will be my team down to investigate your claims. But if you are wrong, Picard, you will have to answer for your incursion into the neutral zone. And if I'm right, you will have a difficult decision to make. Lieutenant Monroe, the Romulans are sending down a task force to investigate Suldoc's activities. While they may not be willing to assist you, they provide a helpful diversion. Yeah. Understood, sir. They're beaming in now. That they will. Our answers lie within that complex. Let's go. You will feel the wrath of the empty crowd. Return fire. Stop him! Destroy the rebels. Well, they are fighting it out. I'm just standing back there watching. So they're going to be a distraction and I'm going to break into this thing and take it out, do something, take it down. Okay, well, another interesting turn of events. Ooh, I need health, I need weapons, I need everything. That was an Today in is the day the empty crown reveals itself. Today is the day we show the Senate that our way is the only way. That was an interesting uh, thing there. So I guess that was was that was that the intelligent exomorph that we had to take out. It felt like it was said commander something. Well, that was very difficult, and boy, it took like every weapon I had to take it out. And then the Romulans show up, and now they're investigating. They're going to cause a distraction for us, and now we need to stop the renegade Romulan commander himself. So I guess that's the final boss. I thought it was going to be the Exomorph. But it is not the Exomorph. It is the Commander. I don't know which door we're supposed to go in. Well, that one doesn't open, so not that one. That one does open. And that one doesn't open. So the choice is clear. We go through this one. Now what are these? Are they useful to me? Ah, oh, crap. Shoo, boy. We're in a lava, place of lava. Nothing over here. Don't you realize when you're beaten? Never throw a grenade at him. He'll like that. Ooh. 
That doesn't seem to be doing anything, does it? Also, how do I get around, how do I get around this stupid column? Nope, bad. Don't blow up on me. Oh, that's how we get up. Jeez, okay, well, the grenade was a good idea at heart. Didn't work out so well. See, the uh, weapons and explosions are real wonky in this game. You have to be real accurate because, like, area of effect is not a huge thing in this game. Like, those grenades should have done damage to those guys. But area of effect is a big problem in this older game. Son of a gun. Uh, that's lava. Crap, donkey butts in my face. Dead as a rock. Didn't see that coming. Ouch. Ouchie. We made ouchie. I see you. All right, now I'm gonna use a grenade. Do I even have a grenade? I don't know, we'll use this gun. It's awesome. Don't you realize what you're doing? Hmm. 
Okay, did better that time. Of course, I knew they were coming, so I baked them a cake. Out of weapons on that one. I'm out of ammo. It's usually arc gun. Oh, I see a sniper. I see a sniper. Where do I see a sniper? See, that doesn't tell me where the sniper is at. Very unhelpful. I can't find where the sniper is at. You guys are probably looking right at him. But I don't see him. At least I can get stuff here. Okay, where is he? Where's my sniper at? Am I out of... I don't have a sniper weapon anymore. Am I, like, out of sniper bullet things? Shoot. Is he, like, right above me? That's sneaky. That's just darn sneaky. Put him behind me. Put him behind me, why don't you? I'm saving just in case. I've made a lot of progress here. I don't want to lose it. They are throwing everything at me. Woo. Pretty tough. Stop him! Yeah! Ooh. Ah! Ooh. Ah! Ooh. Yeah! Ooh. Ah! Ooh. Ah! Lead me where I need to go. Looks like it's going to lead me to a new place. Here we go. Where are we headed? Oh, yes. Lava. Been in a room like this before. Really? Hate these creatures. Hate those creatures. Hate all these creatures.
We're fighting everything we fought in the game previously. Got these invisible guys now. The one that can phase shift. Ooh, I'm out of ammo on that one. I am out of, like, regular weapons. Yeah, I'm gonna die on this one. Ooh, yay, I made that. Dead. I wasn't looking at my health. I need to watch my health. Yeah, yeah. Big room, big room. Scoot around, scoot around. Can I not get through there? Yeah. Where might health be? Say I need health. Where would that be? Feet are sweating. That was a heck of a battle, and I don't like it. And there was no health terminal. I mean, there are no health terminals. You had to win that, or else.
I'm about to die. My my health is bad. I need I need healing. I don't want to go through that big battle I just went through again. That's for sure. I see a terminal for energy. Where's a terminal for health? Right beside it, guys. Wow, they, I mean, this is, this is rough. They are throwing the gauntlet at me. It is a gauntlet. What's next, I wonder? Should I even ask? No, I shouldn't. Another one of these big things, really. All I can do is go in circles. Shoot, I'm running out of ammo again. I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. What's over here? Lickety split. Oops, I didn't mean to, I didn't mean to go to main menu. What? Oh crud. Ah uh, snap, you know what I did? I accidentally went back to the main menu. <laughs> Oops.
There's no health terminal. I have no health terminals. I have nothing to help me at all. Yeah, I saw that coming. I have nothing to help me at all on this guy. All my... There's nowhere to refill my energy. Is there back here, maybe? Oh, I can't go back up there. Dang. I guess I could run back in here. Or does this door close? No, this door closes behind me, doesn't it? Likey, snikey. Yep, it closes behind me. a new tactic. Alright. Dead. 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 Deader. Deader. Deader.
Oh my gosh, that was difficult. Alright, I don't want to do that again. That was like the most difficult thing I've had to do yet. Well, not the most difficult. But one of them. I'm definitely saving right here. Because that boss... Oh, man. Boss level. We are in like constant boss level here. Well, I just killed myself. Good thing I made a save right here. Huh. Can I not jump up that? Maybe I'm not supposed to go that way. Maybe I go through here. Maybe I don't go through here. Well, that has to be the way to go. Ah, oh, there we go. Just had to do a kind of a double jump thing. Ah, uh, that was a hard level, guys. And I think it's only going to get harder. Feels like it anyway. Feels like it. It's like every level is a boss level. This looks final. Let's get this maxed out. I don't know what I'm going to encounter here. It takes a while to get to the maximum level, but I need it. So I don't know what I'm about to encounter. I guess eventually the commander this is we're we're fighting in lava. This is like it's like Star Wars. The uh, lava planet, Darth Vader. End of the line for the empty crown. It's over. Oh no, it's just beginning. Okay, this is the boss. <laughs> this is a fight you cannot hope. Yeah! Ah shoot! What are these? What is happening? All right, I gotta figure out the me mechanics of this one. Okay, I've got to take out the command. Obviously, I gotta take out the commander. I just don't know how. Surrender, and we promise to show you mercy. Uh, what am I supposed to fire at? I need to figure out what I'm supposed to shoot. Kill it, you brainless exomorphs! Like I can shoot these things all day long, but. Do I sniper him? What do I do?
He's got full health right now. I haven't done any damage to him. Ah, I get it. Okay, that opens. Okay, I did a little damage to him. I see it now. When the little windows open. I can't do, I can't, I can't shoot him if I'm constantly being attacked. Okay, I, I, there's no way to shoot him if I'm constantly being attacked. I see what has to be done when it's Linda, when, okay, so when his little flaps open, he's got these little shield doors. When one opens, you can fire on him and do damage. Problem is, you're constantly being attacked by the exomorphs. Constantly. So then, therefore, how do you do that? If I'm constantly being attacked by those darn exomorphs. Because it doesn't matter, I can keep killing them, they just keep spawning. They don't stop spawning. So how, pray tell, does one deal with that? End of the line for the empty crown. This is a fight you cannot hope to win. Your luck has abandoned you! We promise to show you mercy. You brainless exomorphs! Maybe just keep taking damage. No, 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 I got it. I think I just keep taking damage. 
<laughs> yeah, there we go. Give it up, Saldok. That was the Master key. Control I found facility it. Facility is stuck in first gear. You need thousands of exomorphs, and you only have a handful. You can't win. I need only one. <laughs> oh, this is the mother. Oh, that's different. I thought that was going to be the big boss. No, this is the boss. I was right. Big old mother. Right at the end. At least I don't have to deal with those little ones. Still have to deal with those creatures. Gee, dude, crap, monkey. Away. Your attacks only create more of my warriors. I am perfect. You're still getting smaller. Yeah, she was pretty tough. That was a pretty epic ending right there. Mm, that was an epic ending. That was a loud, hard <laughs> mission. Wow. Wowie, wowie. So the key there, ignore the bugs. Ignore the little spidery bugs and just go for the main guy. The main, the commander and then the Tolichon 2 queen. is peaceful again. At great cost. Yes, 
We both suffered losses. You suffered casualties to help Romulans. I will tell the Senate. You can also tell them they didn't die in vain. The Idril ruins are gone. Good. But are you sure the ruins were the work of the Idril? The archaeological record is quite clear. The Idril had a star-faring civilization long before the Romulan Empire or the Federation. And the Atrexians knew it. They covered up evidence of an ancient Idril culture. Yes, a culture that decimated itself with reckless bioengineering. That monstrous creature destroyed all the Idril colony worlds. In their short-sighted quest for power, they unleashed a bioengineered monster they could not control. Other star-faring races ultimately destroyed the creature. But not all the facilities. Correct. How is it any Idril survived? It appears that a few Idril survived on a devastated colony planet. They lost their technology, but held on to legends of their ancient glory. They're lucky not to be extinct. Our people might have met the same fate if the Empty Crown had succeeded. Fortunately, you chose loyalty to the Romulan people over loyalty to the Romulan war machine. Yes, you are a man of honor, Captain Picard. Of and now we is. must both exit the neutral zone. Set a course for the nearest starbase. Course laid in, sir. Ready to return to Federation space. Make it so. Yes, part ways. Get out of my way to Daredexes. Enterprise E, warping out. No warp out? Huh. Okay. Chell's fine. Wonder what happened to our Klingon friend. Hopefully he's fine. Looks like everybody's fine. Yeah, he's fine. Lieutenant Monroe, your performance was exemplary. The Exomorphs posed a grave threat to the Federation. The Romulan government is also grateful that you stopped the Empty Crown from taking over and dragging them down in a pointless war. Your actions have not only saved lives, they have given the Federation a new opportunity to pursue peaceful relations with the Romulans. The Hazard Team's performance has surpassed my expectations. You have established yourself as a leader, Lieutenant. You have every reason to be proud. Indeed. I will recommend that Starfleet establish Hazard Teams throughout the Federation. Smart we could idea. use them on our exploratory vessels. Excellent work, Lieutenant. I mean, it's a Thank smart you, idea. Sir. It really it's an is. honor to serve on board the Enterprise. You are a valuable addition to the crew. Enjoy your shore leave. You and your team have more than earned it. Dismissed. Shore leave, yay. Oh, and Telsia, we get to uh, meet up with her. Remember, we chose her. Hi, Monroe. Come in. All those options. Great to see you, Telsia. Thanks for asking me to dinner. Thanks for accepting. You were afraid I wouldn't? I guess so. Since when are you afraid of getting shot down? I was afraid of being with a woman who risks her life. But I realized that's cowardly. Cowardly? My girlfriend would have to face the fear that I might die too. I can't expect less from myself than I'd expect from her. Oh, Alex. So, ready for dinner? I'm ready to hear you talk more about you and me. Ah, oh, well, it's happening. You look ravishing in that hazard suit. Why, thank you, kind sir. Ladies and but gentlemen, I'm we did it. looking for a chance to power it down and slip out of it. <gasps> oh, ladies and gentlemen, we've been wearing it so long. I thought we it was a part of it. We did it. Oh, it comes off. Hey yo. <laughs> okay. It takes courage to find out. A relationship's not an easy thing. Wow, that's forward. Very the most hazardous mission yet. There it is, the kiss. It happened. It happened. It's bringing a tear to my eye. Now that's how you end a Star Trek game. That's pretty cool. That's how you end it. I loved it. I loved it. We get a nice beauty shot of the Enterprise flying by, of course. Ah, 
Ah, there's the warp out. Ooh, that was a cool warp out. It like trailed itself. Had a trailing effect. That was different. The game's over. Credits roll. I enjoyed that game. I had a lot of fun with that game. Much more than the first one, actually. Um, I do now see why people say this is like the ultimate Star Trek game that you just have to play if you're a fan of Star Trek. You just do. Uh, one of the best ones made. Um, I'm going to let the credits roll. I want to see if there's any end credit cutscene. If there is, I will show it in the video. If there is not, I will just make a hard cut right here straight to the end. And then I will talk about the game. I'll give my little review, quote review, for the game. So um, I'm going to make the cut right here. Okay, everybody, we are back. There was no end credit cutscene. So that is the end of the game. This is now my review of Star Trek Elite Force 2. First things first, thank you to all of the uh, directors and writers and producers and uh, game coders and VFX and uh, artists and uh, writers and just everybody who uh, made this game. Thank you for that. I know it is now old and it was in 2003 and... Um, a lot of those people are doing other things now, but uh, back then, uh, thank you so much for making this game. Uh, a credit to all the people who put this game together. You knew what you were doing. You kept the heart of Star Trek, and that's very important. Um, and you made a great Star Trek game, one that is remembered forever as one of the best up there for a Star Trek game. I thoroughly enjoyed this game. This was a lot of fun. I would say more so than the first one. Yes, it's dated now, but when this came out, it wasn't. Uh, maybe a little bit, but still, at the time, this would have been, you know, pretty incredible. Now, it does look dated and feels dated, especially the, I would say, the combat system feels very dated. It feels very stiff. Uh, area of effect is a, a an issue you need to be very accurate and then sometimes your hits actually don't make when you think they're going to make and uh, grenades don't kill when you think they're going to kill things like that and then the feedback from when a weapon hits the enemy it's a lot better in this game than the first one uh, you can actually see now that they are taking damage but it's still a little difficult to tell if you're or how much damage you're actually doing to them and so forth without like a damage bar. The bosses had a damage bar, but not all of them. Some of them did not. So I'd say the combat system is a little clunky, um, but it has that nostalgic Quake 3 feeling because it is based on the Quake 3 Team Arena game engine. Uh, heavily modified from that, however. The very first one, Star Trek Voyager Elite Force, was based on the Quake 3 Team Arena engine with no modifications. That one was um, definitely uh, old school Quake 3 style. This one's a little more evolved, but not a whole lot. You still get that fast paced first person shooter style gameplay. The kind of gameplay that you really just, you run and gun. That's the Quake 3 style, the Doom style, you run through and you just, it's a whole bunch of things shooting at you and you just, you know, go through and, and kill things as fast as you can. However, there were a few moments in this game where you didn't need to do that. You did need to slow down a little bit, especially uh, the things you needed to sniper, the enemies that would be up in towers toward the end or in other areas where uh, you would need to, like, duck and cover and do a little bit of snipering from a distance. So there were some of those you had to watch out for. Um, so that's overall gameplay on it uh, and, and graphics wise obviously I can't grade it for its graphics uh, today it, it, it doesn't look that great um, but back then it would have looked decent for the time period today I am able to play it on a very high resolution excuse me very high resolution uh, with uh, 8x AA and 16x AF and it you know looks as good as it can I'd say the downside is probably the texture quality. Um, the animations obviously are 
of the time, uh, as good as it can get for the Quake 3 engine. They modified this game to have better mouth movement, and um, that is a big improvement over the first game. The first game had very blocky heads and necks, and like uh, their mouths and stuff didn't move, they just, you know, up and down kind of thing. Uh, this one is a little better in that regard. Uh, so I did enjoy that. Uh, but now let's talk about the uh, actual storyline of this game. Now that we've talked about the mechanics of it, let's talk about the storyline. I liked the idea that it is our original team from Star Trek Voyager Elite Force. Uh, we pick up and we are thrust, being thrust into the Alpha Quadrant from the Delta Quadrant, so it's a direct sequel. We are in the Borg Sphere, and we have to fight our way through the Borg Sphere to release Voyager so that we can bust through and get out of the Sphere. Now, some people did bring up in the comments in that first part of the game, wouldn't Voyager have had those advanced technologies from the future Janeway? Wouldn't it have had the uh, shielding, a blade of armor shielding all around it, and those like transphasic torpedoes or whatever it was using? Um, and if that's so, how could it get trapped inside the Borg Sphere? It should have been able to get out with those things. So yeah, maybe a slight continuity error there has to take place in order to have our hazard team jump onto the Borg Sphere and free Voyager. But it does give it a nice plot to bring us into this game connected from the last game. It gives us a transition from the Delta Quadrant to the Alpha Quadrant right and then we bust through and we're in the alpha quadrant and then i like the idea that once we come through it's like okay now what no more voyager we're done with that what happens to our team i mean we're all friends we're all part of a team well no they're going to split us up because now that's not useful anymore they're going to split us up and so for like two years or something that's what we do but then it is picard who comes to our rescue enterprise e and picard and says, you know what, I see value in this team. I'm going to bring them on board my ship, and of course I accept. And then, as we get on the Enterprise E, we encounter all kinds of adventures with the Atrexians and the Idril and the Exomorphs. And uh, at first, you're dealing with just those species quite a bit, and you really don't see the twist coming with the Romulans. That is a cool twist. We get to go to a lot of different places in this game, unlike the first game. So in the first game, we were stuck in the Delta Quadrant in like a pocket of null space. So it had a very limited, you know, area that it could explore. We could only hop from ship to ship that was inside that null space. But with this game, we could go to different planets and not only visit, visit ships and star bases, but also the planet's surfaces as well. And that was new. We had outdoor open environments in this game. And that's what we did not have in the last one. So that was a big improvement and cool to see. A nice evolution from the first game. And uh, then we find out the whole thing about the exomorphs. Uh, the, you know, first it's a, a mystery who, who are attacking the Atrexians. Then we find out, oh, it's these exomorph creatures. And then we find out, oh, they're connected to the Idril. And the Idril are being oppressed by the Atrexians. Uh, but it was really the Idril who made the exomorphs. And then they destroyed the Idril. And then the, the Atrexians oppressed the Idril. And, you know, this huge storyline. And then the Romulans come in wanting to use there are this branch or uh, outcast branch of the Romulans want to use the exomorphs. Um, it's just twist and turns all through that storyline. And then through that storyline, we get to visit, like I said, so many different places I didn't see coming. We got to go to, you know, star uh, Atrexian bases. We got to go to uh, planet surfaces. We got to go to um, a Klingon base. We had to get we, the whole Olmag thing. With the Ferengi, that came out of like a left turn. I didn't see that twist coming. We had to interrogate a Ferengi. Um, then we went to um, a Romulan base. We had to infiltrate a Romulan colony, you know, and pretend to be Romulan and go through that. And then that introduced some new gameplay elements like the bioscan, having to use the bioscan to avoid the detection 
that was a new uh, mechanic. Um, we didn't use the structural integrity one as much in this one. This one was mostly the bioscan. Um, and then, oh yeah, I forgot the, uh, the, the whole uh, idril base, the, the idril bases. There was like a whole mission where we were on like an idril world. And we had to go through the factories and all that of the idril stations. Um, and that was a lot of like traps and uh, platforming and different kinds of puzzles and stuff there that we had to do. And the, they had the bioscanner there too. Uh, but we didn't use the uh, structural integrity as much as in, in this game. But it was there. It was still a feature, still a function. And then they introduced a new one to us, a gas sensor where we had to like see this gas coming out of the wall and phaser it shut. That was a new gameplay experience. They, they introduced to us so many new types of uh, gameplay mechanics in this game compared to the first one. Um, mini games. We also had some new mini games. You know, you had to connect those power things, uh, flip them to the right way, get the blue power flowing and the yellow power flowing. Some of those are difficult. Uh, then you had to get um, the other one, the wavy one that was going up and down, and you had to get it aligned just right. Uh, so there were some... That, that one was kind of easy. Uh, now, if you were playing on a more uh, intense difficulty mode, those would be timed. Yes, they would be timed. You would have a countdown timer that you would have to get them done. And that just adds more stress. I don't need that. It was hard enough doing some of those puzzles without a timer. I don't want a timer. Too too intense for me. No way, Jose. No way. I was fine without the timer. Thank you very much. Um, so yeah, those could get really hard if you were playing on a more difficult mode because you would have to do those, especially those power transfer ones where you flip the little pipes around. Um, th that could take a very long time to complete, but if you're on a time limit, oh, could you imagine the stress? No, I don't need that. I'm trying to enjoy the game. I don't need stress. <laughs> So all of that was fun. We really got to do a whole lot. And then we meet the uh, final level here today. And boy, was it intense. We had to take out so many like high level, high health creatures um, that it was crazy. There are two of them, especially the ones that were flying around, man, they take so much of your ammo and I was not prepared. And in that last one, they put you in a small room that you could only just circle around in. You could just circle around. There wasn't anywhere else to go. Uh, and there was no health terminal. I mean, you had to kill this thing by just dodging and trying to get a shot on it when you can because there was no health terminals. Um, so that was really difficult to, to throw that on you. Uh, then the final boss, of course, was the commander. And once I figured out the tactic there, it wasn't too bad. But first, it was hard figuring out the tactic. If you just try to keep shooting the little spider exomorphs, um, you'll just get overwhelmed. You saw me. I got overwhelmed with them. So the idea really is just ignore them and just keep healthing up. And then when the little flaps open at the top, shoot the commander. That worked for that. So I thought, okay, well, if that worked for that, maybe that'll also work on the final, final boss, the um, sentient, it, uh, the sentient exomorph. So for that one, I kind of did the same thing. I just tried to ignore the little spider creatures and heal up when I could. And then just shoot the main monster guy with everything I had. That was pretty much it. But ammo was, did continue to be a problem. On harder difficulties, this could be a very difficult game to play. Very difficult. With, and you would need a lot of skill and just really being real tedious. And I don't want to do that. I don't need that kind of stress. I'm trying to enjoy the game. That's why I always play it on easy mode. I'm in it for the storyline. I'm in it to enjoy it and have fun. I don't want to be stressed out. I don't need to be stressed out. i got enough stress in my life. This is supposed to be a stress reliever. <laughs> so that's why I play on easy mode. I definitely don't want to play on a harder mode than that. Um, so all of that was great. Um, I love the ending. Um, and of course... There is another feature of this game that I also did not see coming. I did not think it would have, and that is choosable dialogue options. I always like it when games have that uh, because it means you can have different paths 
Like if you choose one option, it goes down a different path. You choose a different option, it goes down a different path. That creates replayability and allows you to replay the game and make different choices to see what would happen. So the first game did not have anything like that. This game seemed to have some stuff like that. We actually got to make dialogue choices and choose the dialogue. And I think it would make a difference. I think. I don't know because I haven't played it twice to find out, but I think it would. Especially between Clea and, um, I'm blanking. I've been talking so long and playing so long today now, I'm blanking on her name. Telsa. Telsa. Telsia. Between Clea and Telsia, you clearly had an option to go fall in love with Clea or Telsia. And, um, well, I chose Telsia. But it's very cool they give you the option to choose Telsia. And, they, and it's an either-or situation. You go to this one or this one. And so that was very cool that that was thrown in there. Gives you just a little more depth to the characters and to the game overall. So I liked that branching dialogue choice and giving us dialogue options. Uh, that's very cool for a game like this at this time period. Um, and again, the first game didn't have it, so that was cool to see in this game. So once again, Star Trek Elite Force 2 came out in 2003, the sequel to Star Trek, Star Trek, Star Trek Voyager Elite Force. I have played both games now. You can find a complete playthrough of Star Trek Voyager Elite Force on my channel. Search for it. It's there. There's a whole playlist with it. And then you've got the playlist that has Star Trek Elite Force 2 in it as well if you missed any of the videos from this one. Uh, in this playthrough I did things a little different than I did previously. I did like hour to hour and a half long playthroughs. Let me know if you enjoy that format or if you like shorter videos. Um, I'm interested in your feedback. I tried something different here going with this longer format and uh, you can let me know. Longer format means less videos on the channel, but longer videos. So let me know what you thought of that. Um, and also let me know what you think of this game. And did you play it when it was new? Have you played it since then? I'm curious uh, because I don't think I did play it when it was new. But I played it now. And I definitely wish I had played it back then because it would have been a lot of fun. But then I couldn't have shown you guys. Because they didn't have YouTube then. <laughs> but now I can. And I'm very happy I got it. So this is all part of my uh, Star Trek series. That I'm doing a special little series I'm doing on this channel. Where I am uh, attempting to play all the good Star Trek games that I want to play. Uh, that I can get my hands on and, and play. I uh, may not play every Star Trek game that's out there. Uh, especially older ones. I'm not really into like... Some of them, like, I uh, hate to say it, Armada, games like that, not really my style. I prefer first-person shooters or RPGs, things like that. So um, I'm, there's, there, there may be several Star Trek games I do not play, but there will be a lot I do play. So I will find the ones that I want to play, and that's what I'm going to do. But these are two classic ones here that I had to start with because it's like the epitome of of Star Trek games right there so there you go that is my full review of Star Trek Elite Force 2 I thoroughly enjoyed the game give it an A plus recommend everybody play it just keep in mind it's gonna feel dated but it's the storyline and the gameplay that make it what it is now I did not get all the secrets obviously there's a ton of secrets I got nine starships and I mean, if you get 70, you, you can open up all these secret maps. I may, if there's enough interest, let me know. I may, like, cheat my way into opening up these maps and play them if you want to see them. Maybe a video for each one. But let me know if there's any interest for that, and I'll do it. I, I just don't know. Um, if there's any interest, I'll do it. But if not, I won't. Because uh, I don't know. But there are six secret maps. I do wonder what they are personally. And uh, maybe I'll look at them offline anyway. You never know. I don't know. 
Um, oh yeah, I really enjoyed this game revolving around the Enterprise E and Picard. I mean, heck, that was great. Really great. I'm glad that it was like a TNG-based kind of thing, but the Enterprise E, I mean, really awesome. I did say before we haven't seen enough of it. Yes, I know we've seen some of it in movies and whatnot, but we haven't seen enough of it. <laughs> I really like it. I think it's one of my favorite... Um, favorite next generation ships I mean the galaxy class is always a classic but I mean I really like the E what can I say the E is cool uh, anyway so there you go Star Trek Elite Force 2 to everybody who has made it this far and watched this entire video and this entire series you have my biggest thanks thank you so much for spending your time to watch my videos and watch me blabber about being a complete fool in these videos I do appreciate the time you spent and giving me your time thank you for watching and if you like what you see here consider subscribing to the channel many more gameplay games to come give the video a like if you like it you know what to do thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next one <laughs>